Hi, Michelle here with Strawberry Designs, and today I'm excited to be taking part in the Hedgehog Hollow Hop. And we're going to be giving away prizes for you following along in this hop, so make sure you look in the description below for not one, but two prizes and how to enter, and check out all the other videos in the hop. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little shaped card and that looks like a hedgehog using my brother Scan and Cut. So please stick around. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I've had my brother Scan and Cut for about a year and I just discovered that there's a downloadable version of for the Mac for the software. And so that's what I'm using here. I found it much easier to use and I liked it better than the online version. I got my hedgehog here, my cute hedgehog from svgcuts.com. It was one of their free files. It was file 09.07.13 cute hedgehog. And I just uploaded that to my scan and cut. And then I duplicated the um, hedgehog up here um, and then I flipped him and I'm turning him so he's facing the opposite direction and then I'm going to select both of these hedgehogs and I'm going to hit the little merge tool to combine them together so that's where the card will fold. Now, as long as you keep the width of each piece the same, it's all going to fit and all going to match. As you can see, the box that goes around these pieces is really wide. And now I'm just moving them all out so that I can put separate pieces of paper on my mat and cut them all out at once. So once I'm done organizing and arranging all of them onto my mat, then I'm going to go up to File and export as FCM file. Once I export that FCM file, it will be able, I will be able to get it from my scan and cut using a USB cord. So now I'm going to pick out some paper that I'm going to use with my scan and cut. I wanted some paper that had a little bit of texture on it here and there. So I'm using this brown with white polka dot paper for the main card base for my little hedgehog and then I'm using different shades of browns and tans for the other pieces of him and I'm just kind of looking at where he is positioned on my mat on my computer and adding the paper accordingly so that I only have to put this through my scan and cut one time and it's going to cut out all the pieces with all the different colors and using this dark brown of course down here for his little nose. Then I'm going to Hat. My mat's not real sticky, so I'm using some washi tape just to make sure that none of my pieces of paper move on my mat. I should probably get a new mat or re-stickify this, but the washi tape's working. So here you can see what it looks like on my scan and cut. I click OK and it cuts everything out and all of my little pieces are here and they're um, just perfect and turned out just right. So I can now put my card together. This is really a super simple card, and it's one that you could make over and over again once you've designed the software for it. So the first thing is I'm just folding my hedgehog and making sure that he lines up on the front and the back with his little spikes Went after I fold it and had a little piece of washi tape still stuck to him. And then I'm just making sure I know where his face is going to go and how I want him to to look and then I realized oh I want them to open the other way so sticking them on the other side I didn't want the inside of my hedgehog's mouth to be the polka dotted color I wanted it to be the nice dark brown color so I'm just getting a scrap from the dark brown paper and I'm just going to adhere that onto the back side because you're not really going to see the shape or the size of it or anything and I'm using my ATG gun here. I probably should have gotten out some wet glue, but it's what I had handy, so that's what I used. Once his mouth is in place, then I'm going to add in his little face. and made that out of a just a cream card stock and I'm going to just adhere that on top. I think this card is just really cute and um, here's his nose and I'm just making sure I'm lining up the nose the right direction that I don't have it upside down or backwards or anything and I'm gonna stick that nose right there 
and then I'm going to stick the entire head on top of my card base and for the most part the card is done. I just need to add a few little decorations and things to this card. So I decided instead of having regular eyes that I was going to use some googly eyes. So I'm just putting some googly eyes on. I wanted my little hedgehog to be a birthday card, but there's no place to really put it on the front without, you know, him holding it or messing him up or anything. So I decided to stamp a happy birthday message on the inside. And this is just an old stamping up wood stamp. And I'm using the chocolate chip stamping up ink because I thought that brown color would work really well with my little hedgehog here. And he seemed like he needed just a little bit something else, just a little more texture, a little bit more sparkle to make him just really pop out. So I am using my Wink Estella, and this is my gold Wink Estella. I don't use the gold very often. It seems like I'm always using the clear, but I decided the gold would give him, you know, some warmish sparkle and that it would look really cool. So I'm going over his entire, I don't know what you call it, his hair, his mane type of part of his little hedgehog body and I'm coloring it with my Wink Estella and I actually go back once this dries and do it a second time just to make sure that it's well covered and you don't see any gaps and you don't see the brush strokes as much. And then I'm going to go in with my glossy accents and I'm going to cover up his entire nose with glossy accents so he has a nice and bright shining nose. And then that's actually it. My hedgehog card is done and ready to go in an envelope. And I looked and I found a craft envelope. This is just a regular A2 size craft envelope that he fits in perfectly. And I think he turned out just completely adorable. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed seeing how I made this little hedgehog card. And please like this video, subscribe to all your friends, check out all the other videos in the hop, and make sure you look at the description and enter to win the prizes. And have a great day crafting away. Music